There are many reasons why queries run slow. In reality, they might be actually running fine, but probably are waiting for something inside SQL Server. One such wait type is resource semaphore, and that is something which might be happening in your production environment right now. Let me show you a quick example. I have a stored procedure here, my report. If I execute this, you will see probably the response will come in a second or two, all good. But if I run multiple instances of this report, let's say we add six users and we are simulating now, six users are hitting SQL Server and the same report is being run, rather same stored procedure. Now if I go and execute this one in session ID 71, you will see it runs slow. In fact, it is actually waiting for something inside SQL Server. Now if I filter on resource semaphore in this DMV, DIM OS waiting task, and there is an additional helper DMV called DIM exec query memory grant and execute this, you will see that many of these workloads, the session IDs here are waiting on wait type resource semaphore. And this typically means waiting for memory grant. The report, the query inside the report is actually doing an expensive sort operation or hash operation and it's asking for quite a big memory chunk, in this case 900 MB. This was a quick thing, you should go and explore more. And on sqlmaestros.com, I have a detailed demonstration on resource semaphore and expensive sorts and hashes and how SQL query optimizer memory reservation works. So visit sqlmaestros.com if you want these scripts, write to connect with ab at sqlmaestros.com. I'm also available on a underscore Bunsel Twitter handle and do visit data platform virtualsummit.com, big conference coming up. Before I wind up this video, let me show you the detailed version of the video. If you go to sqlmaestros.com, there is a search icon there, click on that, search on resource semaphore, and you will come across the detailed demonstration on what resource semaphore really is, what are memory grants, and what really happens inside SQL Server, the memory clerk SQL reservation. So this is the one that I am talking about. Well, do subscribe to the video, share it with your friends and colleagues. See you soon in another video. Happy learning.